It's funny considering trading a Josh Allen for a Babe Ruth. It's like <laughs> the hot current, like who's now versus the immortal. I feel like John Moran. Need a triple double. Told him check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't try to ball. Hey guys, I'm here with Ryan from Burbank. So he, along with his dad, Rob, run the store. And Ryan, you do a lot of day-to-day -day in here for uh -huh. people who are wanting to come in and, and sell cards or trade cards, yep, right? Absolutely, yeah. So let's let's see. I, I brought some of my own cards, sure. so I'll pull a few out here Alrighty. and see what this process is like. Cool. I'll get you started on these four. So okay. these are these are this is a one of one of an LA star Kawhi. Okay. That's an out of 10 Tyler Hero. Oh, it's kind yeah. of a uh, quirky James Harden Logo Man rookie. Okay. And then cool. another one of one from Shea Gilgeous Alexander, okay. right? So let's so, see what okay. we can do. Yeah, cool. I'll, for sure. And uh, I'll give you a cash offer. I'll give you a trade offer on each one and then you can kind of deliberate from there okay. what you want to do. And I assume you typically pay a little more for yeah, trade it's than for cash? 10 to 15% uh, bump on the store credit side. So from from here, basically, so you're asking five on this and you're asking eight on this. Um, realistically, I probably want to be closer to like seven on this and like four on this. Um, this would do two trade on it. This is 11 or 13 for cash or trade, cash or trade. And then I would do something with the, with the Herbert or if there was something bigger you were interested in. And then in terms of the pricing out there, uh -huh. do you have room on those prices when it comes down to a trade? Since we try and buy stuff fairly, we try and also sell stuff fairly. Okay. Some of the bigger cards I, I have a room on, so I can hit you at, at fair pricing okay. as well. Cool. So absolutely. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little walk around. Cool. Uh, awesome. And we'll see. Cool. So Ryan had put a trade value of $2,000 on this Shea Gilgeous Alexander one of one rookie card. I've had that one for a while. This caught my attention. It is an autograph card of Luau Cinder, his rookie card, autographed as Abdul Jabbar. His asking is 2,200 on that. I'm gonna ask him if he'll do them for an even trade. Love this Luau Cinder rookie card autograph. Love, I'm, I'm into the vintage on-card autos. I got several of them, love that one. Uh, this one you had a 2,000 trade value on. Would you be willing to do that straight up? Yeah. It's a good auto, iconic card. Can't go wrong. So cool, there you go, look at that. Trading something something shiny and new for something old and that's had some uh, wear to it, but has a lot of history behind it as well, which I love. You went through my cards, yeah. and then these were some that you had initially pulled out yeah. as ones that you were potentially interested in. Um, and I pulled out a couple of yours that I had some interest in as well. Are there any that, so after kind of looking at them a little more, looking up some values, that types of things, what are you, what are you thinking at this point? Yeah, the ones that caught my eye were probably like this one. Yeah. The Pulisic. Okay. Maybe the Herbert if you have some room on it. Okay. And then the deck is a okay. cool piece of. Yeah, so probably those are the main four. Okay. And then on these ones, did you have did you have a price in mind yeah. on these different ones? Let me write these down too sure. as we talk. Mbappe silver, 2,600. Okay. Messi okay. sticker, uh, 7,000. The Ruth Gaudi, uh, 14,000. Okay. And then the Mahomes uh, RPA gold, uh, 28,000. What were you thinking in terms of value on these? For the Herbert, it yeah. would be like high 20s. High 20s, okay. Yeah. And I had said 35 on that yeah. was kind of yeah. you know what I was thinking. Closer to like 10, maybe a little above 10 on that guy. Yeah. I, I didn't check this. I know you said it was like... It's like pretty a, low. There, I th think there were some recent sales on okay. that. I want to say like 1,100, 1,200, okay. something so, yeah, like that. We, and then, uh, I didn't look check this one out specifically, but uh, was there like a number that... Yeah, so I mean, I was on that one, I was, I was uh, 15. Mm -hmm. So the reason how I got that is because I actually was... Look, I was almost did a trade deal with a guy last night on that. Yeah. Um, there have not been any sales that I, I've been able to find of the um, Allen, like number to five mm -hmm. laundry tag. Mm -hmm. So the best that I could find is there have been a number of recent sales of the Colossal number to 99 okay. with a plain patch with the auto yeah. um, that have sold for a little bit over $2,000. Okay. So I was looking for other players who had recent sales of a regular version of the Colossal versus recent sales of a laundry tag number to five. Um, Baker Mayfield, 
you know, I know he's obviously in a different league than Josh Allen, yeah. but he happened to be the one that like had like kind of a recent sale of okay. each. So basically if you use the same ratio, mm -hmm. it would put this somewhere in the neighborhood of around 15,000. So okay. that's kind of how I came up with a price on that. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'd be willing to, how did you, just kind of curious, how did you come up with like the number on the Herbert? Yeah, so there were two sales of a PSA 9 in the last year. It hasn't been recent, but okay. it was 11,000 and 18,000. Okay, gotcha. So it kind of averaged those out and then doubled it. Right, okay, to get to a 9.5. Yeah. yeah, and as for my cards, these all have like comps. Do they? Yeah, and then uh, this one was bought on Golden by my buddy. I bought it for more than he paid. And there's been a recent uh, XRC Gold mm -hmm. Mahomes BGS9 that did 75,000. But obviously, they're different cards, but that's like uh, a right. reference I'm using. Okay. I'm gonna look more about this guy up. Sure, yeah, yeah. You can do you can do whatever research you want on that, sure. and if you can find a better if you can find a better comp, let me know. Okay. So this one this one's a uh, obviously a four, but it's a yeah. miscut. So how did you kind of <clears throat> comp yeah. that when you came up with the price on the it? Last two uh, recently did 12.6. And, and that were actual miscuts. Uh, just a PSA two. Oh, PSA. Yeah, so you you knocked it down two grade levels. Yeah. So yeah. Like, and then there's a very OC left right. Uh, mm -hmm. PSA 3 that recently sold for 15, so I just put it in between there. Gotcha. And the 2s, like, without the miscut, are consistently in, like, the 12 to 13 range. Okay. Do you have any luck on this? Do you find any... Out of 99, yeah. those raws are, like, 2 to 25. Right. Yeah, yeah. that's that's what I was saying. But, yeah, I think the ratio on those puts put, does put that around, around 15. Okay. I mean, yeah, if you do have, like, a little room, I would definitely be interested in going for it. Okay. So what number would you be at on the that, that's pro that that one I'm 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 scared to to get rid of yeah. honestly like out of all of these okay that's the one that I'm probably would most prefer to hold you know you got obviously the World Cup this fall but then you've also got you know four years from now and mm -hmm. obviously that's playing a real long game but you mm -hmm. get the World Cup coming to America he should be in his prime at that point the whole U.S. men's national team should really be in their prime at that point yeah so that could be a really big moment for that card. Granted, it's four years out. Yeah. I know that's you know different than the game you play, <laughs> sure. where you're buying and selling stuff every single week. Mm -hmm. I do like that Ruth. So, population higher on that one, 189. So 901 total graded of that card. It's funny considering trading a Josh Allen for a Babe Ruth. It's like <laughs> the hot current, like who's now versus the, you know, immortal. Um, but you know, from a long-term holding standpoint, chances are the Immortals better. Yeah. But you never know. If Allen, if Allen beats Mahomes and goes to the Super Bowl this year, that yeah. thing could go crazy, right? So whereas Ruth's not not going to win another World Series ring, <laughs> so it's a different world. All right. So I'm trying to think how like this kind of adds up here. So sure. I mean, these two I like um, the most. This one I like as well. Okay. But like, you know, so you've got those priced together at 21 or that's 23.6. Yeah. Um, which doesn't work out particularly cleanly with any combo of these three cards, sure. right? If you want to look through here, I can look at your stuff again. Sure. Jim Brown, that's a nice signature. Mm -hmm. Immaculate. Cool. 2009 Threads, Steph Curry, rookie collection. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What um, what would you want for that? I know you just bought it yeah. like literally a second ago. So it's... Like I think at three value is very fair still. Three thousand value. Yeah. Okay, I might be interested in that one. Okay. So let me pull that aside. I think he'll ever get out of Portland. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Yeah. You got that sealed. Yeah. So I might have some interest in these as well. Okay. Um. What were what what are your prices on those? So the Kobe pack. There's comps like right around a thousand. Okay. The last two comps is six thousand. Um, I just bought it on eBay for like 28. I'm asking 35. Okay. <clears throat> These are doing like low threes. I'd put it at 28 trade just because the sales are like at the beginning of the year. Okay. And then this one at 3K. Okay. What would you think about doing the Ruth and the Kobe pack for the Allen? I'd probably consider it like straight up without the Kobe pack. Right, like at 14, it's not a huge difference, but like it's, it gives me- Gives a little, you a little extra a little, potential to yeah. do something with? Yeah. Would you uh, consider a trade with like all the pieces with this and I could add up cash to make up the difference? Like with these both? You know, like obviously like this is more like kind of yeah. you're trading a fairly big card for a fairly big card. 
I'd rather not trade it for like, you know, a bunch of cards yeah. that are like three grand. So would you split the difference, those two, for the Josh Allen plus $500 in cash? Mm -hmm. So I'm throwing in half cash, half the value of the yeah. Kobe pack in cash, plus the Josh Allen. We're meeting in the middle on the two. Yeah, let me just think of the numbers in my head real quick. Sure. Yeah, that's cool. You do it? Yeah. All right, awesome. All right, Let's do it. Thanks, Jeff. What a trade. That's wild. Like, seriously, like, think about, think about that. Like, you're literally trading, you know, one of the hottest quarterbacks going in the NFL today, a guy who was playing college football, you know, just four years ago, for the most iconic baseball player of all time uh, from 1933. I mean, that's wild. It's like such different eras of cards. But they, they, they both have so much appeal to different types of collectors, right? So, I mean, the upside on this one in the near term is huge. But in the long run, this one is obviously a very safe investment. You know, probably less near term upside for sure, but, but also less downside risk, which this one has. So just different types of collecting, different types of investing. They're both really great cards and uh, that's awesome. We got a deal done. Appreciate yeah, for it, sure. All right, let me pull out some cash for you. All right, I'm in the middle of looking at another possible trade deal here. A uh, customer here at Burbank walked in with this box and you guys know I love investing in sealed wax. This is the 2014 Prism World Cup hobby box soccer. These are the first year of Prism soccer. These are pretty rare to still find sealed. It would be a nice box for the collection. So he took a look through my cards. I took a look through his cards as well. And um, from his end, that one stood out to me. That's a card that he has. It's a rare Jordan insert in a pristine 10. That's a really, really high grade of that card. Um, and these uh, Duncan Go Nuts were super popular insert cards back in the 90s. A lot of people love this as a chase card. And that's the card of mine that he likes. And that's a big card. I bought this at Golden last year, a Brady 9.5 with an on-card auto of a 10. It's a big card to give up, but you know what? If we can get a deal done for the upside of the wax and the Jordan, and he'd have to throw in something else, but if we can figure it out, I think maybe we could get a deal done. So I had put a price on that of 20. You had a price on that of five. And then this one, the recent sales, the two recent sales of that were right around $9,000. And I was willing to do a little bit more in terms of trade value on that, just because it's Jordan, it's rare you know, that type of thing, right? For sure. So I was thinking like, basically I was kind of pricing those at 15,000 on trade and pricing this at 20,000 on trade. So if we we're gonna do a trade deal, then what I would be doing is looking for another card right that, that would have about $5,000 worth of value to kind of make up, make up the difference, which I don't think any of these cards perfectly have that, no, right? No, no. Some of these are a lot bigger than 5,000. And the, the Connor McDavid, I don't know the value of. Did you see any kind of comp? No, I really didn't. I could try to look a little more, but um, different set as well. But a nice on-card auto, looks like. Number to 125 and a BGS 9.5 sold for 28.88. I mean, do you have a concept for what it's worth? A nine, sold for 26 at Heritage. Okay, so basically the offer right now is the three of those for the Brady. I think he might be getting the better of the deal right now by maybe about $2,000 on the open market. That would be my guess. Would you consider throwing in one more smaller card, like a thousand dollar type card? Just because he's your boy. Oh, you want to throw in a Kadarius Tony rookie ticket auto? Cracked ice. It is cracked ice. I like Kadarius Tony being a Gator fan. Man, he's trying to tag. He's trying to tug that's at my it, heartstrings that's here. It. I don't. I don't know if I like that from an investment standpoint. Ah, a, sometimes you need a PC a little bit. That is. That is. A, that is a fun PC card. Is there anything else you would throw in other than the Tony? Dang, twist. Is there anything in here? No. Russell Wilson. No. Lamar. I'm spent. Josh I'm Allen. Spent, honestly, we're good. <laughs> Is there anything in this box you would throw on no. this set of the Tony? I would do it for the. I would do it for the Russell Wilson. Come take on. The Tony out. Throw, keep the Tony. I wanted, I, wanted, I, wanted a thousand, I wanted a thousand bucks extra. The Russell Wilson 675. This could be a thousand dollar card. That can, <laughs> it's got a long way to go. He's got to actually play for it to be a thousand dollar card. Still a cracked ice contenders auto. <laughs> it is a cracked ice contenders auto. People love it. Well, yes. The last PSA 9 sold for $270. So people love it to an, 
$270 worth. Man, I do feel like you're getting the better value of these. I, I feel like if you put them all at auction tomorrow that you would be ending up pretty far up on the deal. I don't know about that. This is a blind item. This, this could probably at auction go for a lot. Yeah, but you said in, you said uh, nine went for, I mean, 2,600. So a nine five is not gonna go for that much more. That might get three, 3,500 or four. So I kind of feel like that's a little bit, like a thousand bucks overpriced. That one's a thousand bucks overpriced if we're going on comps because the last two sold for 9,000. So if, you, if that was like nine and that was four, that's 13, 18. So that's why I was like, something small, something small. One of the Russells. It's Russ, let me see this guy. You got two. Gotta you let got the two. little guy win, man. You got two. You got two. It's $675 card. Um, what is this, the Russell? All right, let's get it done. You want to get it done? You got the Russ in there? It's a awesome. Cool, it's a cool awesome. card. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. That was a lot Same. of fun. Awesome. So I never expected a Thursday afternoon would be so full of trade activity, but that happens apparently all the time here at Burbank. It's a lot of fun. I really like the deals I get done. What do you think of my deals? Let me know in the comments below and hit like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you more episodes like this. Until the next one, take care. I feel like